We got a lot of news to cover this week. I'm Virtually Chris, and this is Virtually News. First off this week is from the people who made the VR covers. Now comes the VR Lens Lab, which is open now for business, and it lets you create custom prescription lenses for your Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. So if you're one of those people who doesn't want to shove glasses in your headset, but also wants to get the best experience possible, then definitely be sure to check out the VR Lens Lab. Continuing with the VR cover news, they now have created a new Kickstarter to create custom facial interfaces for the Oculus Rift. So you can now buy facial interfaces with new thinner foam or thicker foam that is waterproof and easier to clean than the default Rift facial interface. So currently it's a Kickstarter campaign and shipping is estimated to be September 2016. And right now there's $22,000 pledged already. So there's 25 days left, be sure to order one of those if you'd like to have a facial interface replacement for your Rift. A short news story is that Elite Dangerous Arena is now free for a limited time until tomorrow, July 11th. So if you want to pick it up, go ahead, it's on Steam and it works with the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. However, there's some negative reviews right now because of activation issues it sounds like, but hey, might as well get it since it's free and once you get it now, you get to keep it forever. In other news, NVIDIA revealed the GTX 1060 graphics card, which has the same performance as the 980, but all for 249. So that's great. They're trying to one-up AMD with their 480. So we'll see who ends up being better once the performance benchmarks come out. But either way, both great graphics cards that let you get right into VR. Fruit Ninja VR is now out by the same developers who created Fruit Ninja for the iPhone and Android. And currently it's 20% off, so if you're interested in playing that for the HTC Vive, it's out now. I have it. Uh, it's a pretty shallow game, but if you enjoy that type of game, definitely be sure to check it out. It's an early access. In other news, Vertrix, who created the omnidirectional treadmill, is partnering with the Chinese company Hero to roll out custom experiences to the Chinese VR arcades that they'll be creating. So overall, that's a good partnership for Virtuix and Hero to create some cool VR arcades. And the final biggest topic of the day, Palmer Lucky replied to everyone here on Reddit who's been complaining about the headset DRM stuff with the following things to say. We made an update and we went out to the press. We said, hey, we weren't targeting any hack specifically, and this was part of our anti-piracy and entitlement system updates. This, I think, got misinterpreted by a lot of people as, look, o Oculus has now decided they want to lock everything to our hardware. And thus, we actually also made an update recently uh, that removed that specific check. It removed a specific check that made that was that was blocking that thing from working. We're still investing in content. It's a exclusive to our store. We are willing to support other hardware, but we want to do it natively through our SDK so that every piece of hardware that we're supporting could be a first class citizen with access to all of our features. I don't want to wrap a bunch of always inferior SDKs that mean that we're going to have to be supporting people with hardware that don't have access to a lot of our critical features like asynchronous time warp um, or other performance optimizations we're going to be making in the future. So that's what he said. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below if you believe him. Personally, I think it is true that they were just trying to block piracy and access broke this third-party hack, but you never know. So thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Virtually News. Be sure to slap a like on it if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week for the next Virtually News. Bye!